Welcome to a very easy and simple to understand guide to EV training. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. What are EVs? EVs, or effort values, are the points used to determine stat growth. Your Pokemon gets a set amount of EVs, usually 1 to 3, when defeating an enemy Pokemon. Every 4 EVs equals 1 stat point, and each Pokemon can have a total of 510 EVs with a max of 255 per stat. Since you need a multiple of 4 to be fully effective, you never want to go over 252 EVs in a single stat. But it's not the end of the world if you accidentally do. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the actual training. For this demonstration, we're going to get 252 EVs in attack and speed, and 4 in HP. The first thing you need to do is, of course, to pick a Pokemon. Preferably one that's freshly bred or caught. Here is a list of good places to EV train in Black and White 2, but for now we only need to focus on two of them. Alright, enough of the boring stuff, let's get to it. After you've chosen your Pokemon, you'll need these two things, Pokerus and a Macho Brace. Each of these things doubles the amount of EVs gained at a time, so having both makes every one EV become four. So now it's time to meet your new best friend, Vitamins. HP up. Protein, Iron, Calcium, Zinc, and Carbos. A Pokemon can have up to 10 of a certain vitamin, and each one gives 10 EVs. We want to focus on attack and speed, so we're going to use 10 Protein and 10 Carbos. That takes care of 200 of our 510 EVs. Now that we have all the pieces in place, let's head over to Hidden Valley Ranch to do our attack EV training. Here we are hunting for Pat Rat, Lillipup, Pidove, or Riolu, all of which give one EV. And since each one gives one EV, we need to defeat 38 to get our full 252 EVs. Each Pokemon that is involved in the battle will receive EVs, so don't hesitate to switch out. With attack finished, we're going to head over to Route 1 to get some speed EVs from Basculin. <laughs> Basculin normally gives two speed EVs each, so we only need to beat 19 of them. Don't worry about evolving, it doesn't reset EVs or anything. Finally, I'm going to find some shaking grass and beat up a Nodino for the last 4 EVs in HP. If you want to check if you did it right, just give Bianca a call and ask her to check your Pokemon's effort. If she says it's worked really hard, then it has all 510 EVs. The stat or stats shown are the stats with the highest amount of EVs, in this case, 252 in attack and speed. You can see that at level 100, Dragonite's attack and speed is much higher than they would be without EV training. So that's all there is to it. EV training is pretty easy and not very time consuming. Just have a calculator in about 40 minutes and you're set.